Greetings. Welcome to Queen L LLC. This is Queen L. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today's video is another Astrology 101 video, and this one is regarding the 12 houses of the Zodiac Wheel, your birth or natal chart, um, however you would like to refer to it, but this is your astrological chart. So um, it's specific to um, a person, but you can pull a chart for um, today's date and see exactly where all of the planets fall on this um, circular chart and then you can use that to your benefit or if you're doing a reading for someone else so stick around and let's talk about the houses okay so i am going to post um the handy little picture of the chart here so um like i said it's typically referred to as a birth or natal chart that's n-a-t-a-l and um you can get your birth or natal chart for free by um, going to um, astro.com there are many different sites that you could go to so you could just um, search for um, a free natal chart and you can use the calculator now the information that um, you would need in order to have that free chart pulled up for you would be um, the time that you were born as well as the actual location that you were born so um, if you know those two things then um, whatever site you choose will be able to pinpoint where um, everything was in the solar system at the time that you were born so um, what is the point of all of this now if you wanted to learn more about yourself aside from your um, initial zodiac signs so your sun sign your moon sign your rising or ascendant sign if you want to dive a little deeper into each intricate detail um, of your life different categories aspects of your life then um, this is very useful to know so like i said it's free so definitely pull that chart if you haven't pulled one already and when you see the chart this um circle it is divided kind of like a, a pie um, or a pizza into 12 slices. So each of the slices, um, just to stay on, on with that analogy, each of the slices um, represents a different house of astrology or, um, or on this wheel, so to speak. The way the houses are numbered, um, you go in a counterclockwise way around the wheel so you would start at around nine o'clock and then um, that would be that pie slice or section would be house number one or the first house and then you go around in a counterclockwise manner until you reach the house that's right above that first one and that would be the 12th house okay so let's talk about what all of those houses represent now the first house that is yourself that is um, it represents your personality, the traits that you show to others, even without being aware that you're doing that. Um, it also represents new starts, fresh beginnings. Um, also, your rising or ascendant sign, when you pull that natal chart, it will be in that first house, okay? And um, it's essentially the start of you. So, again, for anyone who hasn't seen my um, video on the sun moon and rising signs i will link that above so your rising or ascendant sign is the sign that was on the horizon um specifically the eastern horizon at the time that you were born okay and so it's the essence of who you are now the second house and again we're going in counterclockwise fashion the second house represents your possessions it represents your financial security your emotional well-being as well as your physical surroundings um, it encompasses your five senses now your third house that represents communication it represents how you communicate what forms of communication you use um, your mental attitude your self-expression it also includes second connections so your um, siblings 
your neighboring area to where you're physically located as well as local travel in that area. And um, your fourth house, that represents your home. It represents what's home to you, your roots, your childhood, your inner emotions, um, also your family and property. Now, the fourth house, because of the location of the house being at the bottom of the wheel, um, with remember us starting at nine o'clock and going counterclockwise, it literally represents the base of who you are, your foundation. It represents home, privacy, your parents, your, um, like I said, your childhood, so um, the beginnings of your life, as well as the nurturing aspect of you. Now, your fifth house, that represents love. It represents um, your children, or, um, or whether or not you will have them or want to have them. It represents um, romance, how you love, why you love the way that you do, as well as your self-expression, okay? The sixth house represents personal health and well-being, um, your service to others, the physical well-being that you have throughout your life. And the seventh house, it represents marriage as well as business partnerships. The eighth house represents regeneration and rebirth. It represents birth, death, and sex. It also represents other people's property and money. The ninth house represents your journeys, traveling as well as emotional journeys. It represents higher learning, so like a spiritual journey. It represents enlightenment. It represents luck. The 10th house represents your career, your status, ambitions, aspirations. It is the most public house because it's at the top of the zodiac wheel. So if you think about it um, symbolically, it's the one that is at the forefront of the wheel being at the top. So it is the most public one. Now, the cusp or edge of the 10th house is known as your midheaven, and that's your career path. Now, the 11th house, it represents your hopes, when and if dreams come true. It represents science fiction. It rules media. It rules networking. It rules your friendships, society, and technology. The 12th house represents secrets. This is the um, mystical house. It's very mysterious. It rules the subconscious mind. It rules things hidden from yourself and what you hide from yourself. It represents karma and it rules the ending of things, the ending of projects, your old age, the afterlife. So if you think of the first house being um, the start of the wheel, the 12th house does represent the ending um, as well as um, what lies beneath. Okay, so just to recap, um, houses one through six represent you. They're all about you, who you are on the inside, um, and they're very personal things. Houses 7 through 12, they represent you because this is all about you, but they, they're more interpersonal. It, um, they really represent um, how you interact with the world, how you um, interact with other people, your service to others, etc. Yeah. What is the point of all of this? <laughs> the point of all of this is when you have your chart pulled and you're able to look at what um, planets are in um, different houses, what zodiac signs are in different houses at the time that you were born, it lends a little more information to why you are the way that you are and kind of what makes you tick. So um, for instance, the house that's all about marriage and partnerships, um, intimate relationships, depending on what sign you have in that house or what planet, let's say Venus, um, you find out when you look at your chart, your Venus is in that house. Well, that would mean that um, what you enjoy most and where you place a lot of value is in the things involved with that house. So in this um, example, marriage and intimate relationships or if your venus is in the house that represents um well-being and your service to others then that would you know it would make sense so a lot of the things that you'll um, find out when you look at your natal chart some of the things may be enlightening like 
okay so this all it makes sense why i feel the way that i feel or why i am the way that i am some of the things it will be like well yeah that's no surprise to me because i really am like that it's essentially a confirmation but um you can use it to your benefit you can search for where are the planets right now and i would probably add the keyword astrology behind that if you search for that it will pull up where the planets are right now so for instance let me pull it up so i can tell you where they are right now okay so right now um we have the and i may include an image if i'm able to include an image of what they look like right now if you haven't looked at any of my recent planetary aspects videos then um, i'll link some above so that you can catch those because there's always something going on with the planets but um right now um the sun is in pisces because of course we're in the zodiac sign of pisces right now being in early march right but you can see it on the chart as far as where the planets are today now we have neptune in the sign of pisces right now we have mercury in the sign of pisces right now um saturn um is just now entering the sign of pisces um in the next day or so so all of those planets once you know what energy the planets represent which check out my video above to find out what those are um then you know um that it's about purpose it's about communication it's about um transformation all of those things being aligned with pisces right now you would look and so i'm looking at where the plants are right now and this is um the sixth house that all these plants are in as well now if you look at what you have in the sixth house then you can see um if there's any connections as far as what you have in your sixth house um if any of these planets that you have on your chart were also in pisces when you were born then you look for the the connections the synergy so you would be someone who would have um you would have a stronger feeling of the energy that they provide because of your connection personally versus the next person okay and once you really dig into this then you're able to make predictions for yourself you're able to um, look ahead at future dates upcoming dates so that you can see okay well where are things going to be you know i have something big coming up in a week where is everything going to be a week from now so that i can you know see like would that possibly work in my favor or not or if you don't feel like doing all that legwork then you can watch videos for somebody like me or um, many other astrologers that are out there so that you can just get some perspective and so it's really insightful it is factual it's um mystical but it's not it's not um anyone grasping at straws or um something that you're not able to see for yourself as well um i do tap into my intuition and the messages that the spirit guides give me and i'm, I'm thankful for that intuition um but with regard to astrology it's right there for everyone to see so i hope that this has been helpful um stay tuned for more videos like this if you like my astrology 101 videos or tarot 101 videos hit that subscribe button okay peace ashe